Hey everybody, welcome to your November monthly reading where we are connecting to our 11th chakra. We've been looking at chakras all year long, starting way back in January, and we're on the 11th chakra, uh, almost to the end of the year. I can't believe it. Uh, but this 11th chakra is known to more connect our human sphere <laughs> to the supernatural. Uh, they say you could access it with your hands and your feet, and the shamans would use the chakra to produce magic <laughs> and influence the physical world. It's kind of known like for the mind over matter. And we can see how the mind is a significant influence over our physical world because really we don't see the world as it is, we see the world as we are. So it's that projection, it's how we see the entire world. So for this reading for this month, we're going to be looking at what does spirit want us to know about our mind world. So of course we have a reading for each individual zodiac sign and we're going to jump into yours right now. All right Capricorns, this is your monthly reading and if you're new to my channel, what I do each month is I do take a tarot deck and I split out the major arcana from the four suits of the minor arcana. And the major arcana represent the overall energies for the month and for the theme, which of course this is about your mind world. So this is what that will represent. This month I am using the Spirit Song Tarot and all the cards that I do use in a reading I list in the description box below. So if any of them catch your fancy and you want them for yourself, you know where you can pick those up. Also, you might have seen me use these in my live readings. Yes, I have started going live every single day providing some live tarot readings on YouTube. Uh, Sunday through Friday, I go on at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And then on Saturdays, I do push it back an hour later at 8 p.m. Mountain because I go live on Instagram at 5 p.m. on Saturdays. And then also in the morning on Friday and Saturday, I hit it at 11 a.m. Uh, mountain time, of course, and then Sunday, 10 a.m. Mountain. So if you haven't stopped by to check it out, I'd love you to come by and say hi and uh, see how the uh, live readings are going. So let's give a little shuffle here and we'll see what Creator and Spirit do want you to know around your mind world. And I can't imagine Capricorns. I know I'm a Capricorn rising, so I totally get it. We get in our minds. We get in the tasky mode, getting things done. So we'll take a look here and see what does Creator and Spirit want you to know around your mind world for November. So what would you like all the Capricorns to know, please? All Capricorns, okay. They do want this one for you here. And you've got the transformation card, which is normally death and rebirth. So this is a great card for Capricorns because you are ready to let go of some old ways of thinking, some old beliefs, some old mindsets, and you're ready to just transform them. You're ready to see that they've served their purpose for what they did at the time, but now you're ready for something new. Those old things, when you did what you always did and you got what you always got, you're tired of that and you're ready for something brand new, uh, new results. We're also going to pull from these Shaman Dreams Oracle, and we just talked about the 11th chakra, that shamans would use the 11th chakra to produce magic and to influence the physical world. So let's see. But the Shaman's Oracle, the Shaman's Dream Oracle, especially what they would like to add on to this message of transformation. All right, so what else for all our Cappies, all our Capricorns? All right, this is the one here. And you got the Drifter experiencing life as it comes. I like that. So that's card 14, 13 and 14. So uh, as it comes, as it unfolds, right? <laughs> and I like that because it's kind of like you're letting go of your attachment to outcomes and you're going with the flow of it. But let's take a look here. Yeah, what lights you up? Seeking the essence, but not knowing the form. Ah, so the drifter invites you to step out of your to-do list <laughs> and your ordinary routine to feel the breeze against your skin, calling you to follow the wind and explore life's opportunities. 
Uh, like we said, that's so Capricorn, right? Our to-do list. <laughs> when the drifter appears, it's a sign that it's time to cut the mooring lines holding you to the dock. It's not important to know the destination before you set sail. It will become clear as you leave port. Do not wait for a map as there are none to where you are destined to go. Wow. But be sure that you do have a compass to keep you true. Yours is your pure love and your intention to be free, even of your own beliefs and preconceptions. What we talked about, right? Few appreciate the energy of the drifter. Here, you might not seem to be doing anything worthwhile or meeting someone else's expectations, but you are the only one who understands that others are running full out on hamster wheel and getting nowhere. Your laziness is an unappreciated virtue. You know that life will find you and bring you everything you require without your having to search for it by simply being instead of frantic doing. Even as you let your mind wander, releasing it to go on a daily walkabout, call it back home regularly to deliver news from the cosmos. The drifter helps you find what you're looking for, even when you didn't think you were seeking anything. <laughs> Isn't that great? I, I love that because I, being the Capricorn rising, like I said, you have this to-do list that you have so much stuff on and there's that can bring pressure and stuff into your life, right? So I uh, renamed mine my could-do list, which really helped out. Also, the Capricorn energy, you know, it's ruled by Saturn and Saturn is the taskmaster. It does challenge and rattle your previous beliefs of how you're looking at things. So this is right up your energy because when you do the work and you uh, release the old attachment to the old ways of doing things and transform them, there is a gift. They, uh, you do get reward at the end of the task. So this is beautiful. All right. We also will, of course, move into the Minor Arcana. Now, the four suits of the Minor Arcana do represent four different areas of your human existence, your human experiences. We're going to start off with the element of fire, normally wands in the standard tarot. This one calls it acorns, but it is your drive, your ambition, your passion, your inspiration, uh, your overall energy. So this will be what the creator and spirit want you to know about your energetic adventure during November regarding your mind world. So let's take a look here for all our Capricorns. Actually, they do want this one right there. And we've got the king of acorns, so the king of wands in the standard tarot. This one says optimism and innovation. So innovative ideas, new ways of approaching things, really managing your your passions and your drive and focusing your energy and getting stuff done, leading your energy and where you want it to head. It's uh, very much the entrepreneur card too. So if one of the things that you're wanting to do is to become an entrepreneur, own your own business, you know, it's even saying just jump, try to do something. Um, you know, of course, when you have your own business, there is some planning and stuff that needs to happen. But it's almost like they're saying just leap off you know maybe if it doesn't cost any huge amount of money or investment or something like that it's like just start just do it don't feel like you have to have the whole plan in place before you take the first step maybe the first step is just registering your business with the federal government and the state if you're in the united states it varies of course across the world but you know it's like maybe it's just getting your business name uh, established and then the next step and then not waiting to go, okay, what's the entire list? And then I'll start at number one. It's like, okay, number one, you know what you need to do? Boom, do that, but then plan the rest, you know, kind of do that. Let's see what else they have to say because this uh, is the divine guidance deck. These are actually fractal images, which is uh, kind of a mathematic formula is our put into this computer system and it uh, creates beautiful works of art. 
uh, and shapes and different things like that. I call them the spiritual inkblot test. <laughs> And we're going to see just which one jumps out for all of you Capricorns. And then what you see in the picture is a special message for you. And then we'll, of course, read from the book and see what she intuitively had seen in it. You got card number 11. Look at those beautiful greens and purples in there. All right. So we'll put that down here. And let's take a look and see what message comes with that. <laughs> infinite possibilities. Perfect. Your daydreams are the creation of your deepest desires and wishes. While they do hold guidance as to what you're wanting and needing on your path, they also carry a creative force for manifestation. The universe is asking you to allow yourself to dream, to allow the idea that the impossible can be possible. Your greatest wishes in life are a big key to your path, and the entire universe is working with you right now to bring those dreams to fruition. The possibilities of what can be manifested are infinite. How perfect. It's exactly what you're talking about, right? That not being attached to outcomes, letting go of, you know, maybe limiting beliefs, knowing that anything is possible and don't f restrict it in by all the thoughts and beliefs that it has to happen this way. Because then you miss all those opportunities and all these opportunities if you have such a narrow focus of this is what it has to be and how it has to unfold. But as you expand your viewpoint and let those restrictions go, even attachment to outcomes, then it's wide open for you. So love in this. Next, we move into the element of earth, which normally is the element of pentacle. I mean, the suit of pentacles, uh, but this one calls it uh, um, crystals. And where this is your inner energy, and we're going to talk about your thoughts and your emotions, all of those three are inner, right? This is the only suit that's about the outside world. So all those individuals that are on stage with you, you know, all the props out there, including your own body, you know, your possessions, your bank accounts, your, um, you know, just job, all that stuff on the outside of you. So this is what Creator and Spirit want you to know about your physical adventure during the month of November. All right, so for all our Capricorns, what would you like them to know? Okay, is this one right here. And you've got the Page of Crystals. So like we we're talking about, Page of Pentacles, Page of Crystals, all about new opportunities coming in the outside world. So definitely this is right in alignment with what we we're talking about here. You know, infinite possibilities. You are letting go of those restrictions, which now you're seeing those things that lied outside of that area. So don't need to go into more about that. Uh, but we will look into these angels and ancestor. And see what else they want to add to this physical adventure of the outside world. One more. All right. So what else for our Capricorns, please, about their physical world? Okay. That one was leaping for its life. And you got the white witch. <laughs> Be the light. Beautiful card there. We'll put that right here. And let's see what the White Witch brings for you here. It says, take the higher road and choose the light. Remove yourself from lower energy experiences. The White Witch card represents the maiden aspect of the triple goddess of paganism in modern Wicca. It's like, uh, what is it? Maiden, witch, and crone? Something like that. Uh, the maiden is a gentle, innocent, and pure aspect of the goddess. A loving soul who wants nothing but the best for the whole earth. Here, she's joined by a horned owl, showing that she is willing to respect those with more wisdom and experience than she has, but she is also willing to trust what she feels to be right within. With this card, you're being reminded of the goddess within. And re regardless if you're male or female or how you identify, we all have divine masculine and feminine inside of us. So um, that does fit everyone. <clears throat> 
excuse me, no matter what is happening to you or around you, you have a choice. Choose not to be pulled into dramas, bickering, or energies that are just going to limit your joy. If you are surrounded by people who are hostile towards you or someone else, or you are in a negative situation, perhaps in your workplace, you're being invited to be the light. You are an incredible person who can really bring light. So how can you change the energy? How can you redirect the conversation to love? How can you protect yourself? How can you help the person that is being picked on? Or are you the one who is guilty of causing a drama? Uh oh, <laughs> you will know the answers. Know also that you are being encouraged to shine the light you were born to share. So with these, un, you know, these possibilities that are limitless and this changing, this question of things, I feel during this process too, you're really understanding and getting a fine tuned picture of how it is that you uniquely want to share the unconditional love with the world. How do you want to help bring peace and love and joy and laughter into the world in your own special, unique way? Not all those trapped thoughts and beliefs of the supposed to's and shoulds and need to's and have to's and musts and blah, 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 all those expectations. You're ready to bust out of that and with this new opportunities, really move into this place that you're able to be that light in, in your special way. Next, we'll move into the air element, which is normally swords. Here they call them feathers. And this is, you know, your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, um, your expectations. Uh, it's your mental adventure during the month of November. So because this is all about the mind world, we'll be interested to see what comes up for all you mindful Capricorns. So for all the Capricorns, what would you like them to know about their mental adventure for November, please? What for their mental adventure in no uh, Okay, do you want that one? And you got the two of feathers, decisions and direction. Yeah, I figured something like this was going to be coming up because it seems like you are making a new choice, a new decision. And with this two of feathers, it's about like closing our eyes so we can truly see. Normally there's someone sitting there with, uh, you know, like uh, swords crossed, uh, blinded with a blindfold on, which is telling them not to look with their physical eyes because you have a choice to go by logic. And then usually like this one has a moon above it, which is about also trusting your intuition, your gut, really connecting to your heart. So don't make decisions only from the mind. You know, because those are the things that get us into drudgery because it's the supposed to and should. It's some other dream that was given to us. So it's not fulfilling of our heart. It does not make our heart sing. This is like saying all these decisions, wherever you're headed, whatever these movements and these changes that you're making, uh, remember to keep your heart involved. Because if your heart isn't singing while you're doing things, then you're not uh, living. You're just existing, right? And then we're going to pull a card here from the numerology guidance cards. And let's see what else that they have to offer here. All right. So what else about Capricorn's mental adventure in November? Okay. They want that one. Yeah. And you've got the healing here. Card number 66. So... I really love this because it talks about um, here in the book, and I'm going to read it from the book because they list some um, different modalities. Um, so if you are interested in having a healing type of occupation, um, then this definitely is saying, you know, there's this opportunity for it because this card indicates a time to focus on your healing abilities and being of service to others. Again, how are you uniquely going to reflect that and share it with the world? So by drawing this card, you're being encouraged to expand your understanding of the healing arts and the many different ways to heal. Perhaps you feel drawn to Reiki, kinesiology, physical therapy, homeopathy, 
acupuncture, nursing, counseling, or life coaching. Whichever path you choose, it's time to set the wheels in motion, right? <laughs> this card may also indicate a need to receive body work or healing, such as Reiki, kinesiology, acupuncture, cognitive behavioral therapy, or herbal medicine to help shift any stagnant energies or toxic energy. Your energy field or your aura absorbs and stores energy from other people, electrical equipment, every illness and trauma in your surroundings, and your own negative thoughts and emotions. Therefore, I think one of these mentioned it too, right? It's important to uh, clear your aura regularly to elevate your health and well-being and your overall quality of life, getting that negative energy away from you, right? Or it was the light, right? Being the light and being able to transform and change and transmute that energy, that negativity into light and uh, healing and beautiful things. You're an energetic being with a natural ability to heal. So when you focus on being of service, the universe will guide you where you're needed most. Set the intention to heal or be healed, and you'll be shown the next logical step to take. Perfect. <laughs> and then lastly, we will move here into the final element of water, which is normally the suit of cups, but this one calls them the shells. And this, of course, is all about the emotion. So it's what the Creator and Spirit want you to know about your emotional adventure during the month of November. So let me just... Scooch these together one more time. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for our Capricorns, what would you like them to know about their emotional adventure? Okay, there we are. All right. Page of Shells. Intuition and Inspiration. So Page of cell, uh, Shells would be Page of Cups, which is all about... Uh, new emotions, a new level of emotions coming in. Could be new emotional messages as well. We talked about, you know, not just going off of your mind, but trust in your heart. So this new emotion that's kind of elevating within you because you are uh, allowing yourself to move towards a dream that does make your heart sing. So I feel that's what's sparking this for you. Then your final card is actually going to be from the Queen of the Moon Oracle. And because this is the last card for this reading, it could still represent about your emotional experience uh, in the month of November, but we're going to allow it to be a wild card as well. So it can be for whatever else the Creator and Spirit would like you to know about your month of November. So for our Capricorns. Okay. <laughs> And there we go. And you have the void. The dark moon. So let's put that here. And let's see what message that brings for you. Your time to rest and reset is here. Release all that does not serve you. Stop resisting. The void is a time of possibility, not just darkness. There's nothing to fear in letting go of negative patterns and habits, so let go of the old. <laughs> it's like we've been talking about, right? While the full moon, the full attractive power, gets all the publicity, the dark moon, which offers the infinite possibilities of a clean slate, is just as powerful in its own way. The dark moon often looks just like a darker piece of the night sky. And in some cultures, the way it appears harkens back to the idea of the void. It is a place of unknowable secrets, a state of everything and nothing, or a place to prepare or rest before moving on. To this author, personally, there is a relieving, restful quality about this darkest moon that allows pondering and decisions about what we can jettison before making fresh plans for the new moon, which is actually the following day. 
If you find yourself resisting the dark moon, it is usually a clear sign that you are being stubborn about letting go of something <laughs> that is old and not serving you in a positive way any longer. Often that is a fear or pattern that was created to protect you in some way. However, now it's outdated, yet you're still carrying it or acting it out. Know that this moon is powerful, but it is also incredibly gentle in the way it helps you unravel what actually um, is so you can embrace the fresh start of tomorrow. Relax, reframe, and think about how much better your life will be without that bad habit, that fear, or that pattern. Get very clear about the possibilities of this transformation. No kidding. Transformation. <laughs> and what it will give you in the real terms. See, it says transformation on the bottom. I know you remembered it, but I just got to make sure. <laughs> This is the power of the dark moon. It is the optimum time in the cycle to release the old, cut the cords of relationships and traumas that deserve no time and attention in your present. Beautiful. The companion stone or metal for this is jet. Like jet black, it's jet. So, so perfect. I am absolutely loving this for you, all you Capricorns. This major, major, beautiful transformation where you're leaving behind what's no longer serving you. Uh, detaching from that fine tune of how things have to happen and then just possibilities are endless. Uh, you have your heart sing as you move toward this new direction of how you uniquely want to share this beautiful gifts with the world, how you share your unconditional love in your heart with the world. So I'm excited to see what you do with all this. <laughs> now, if you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these monthly updates by each zodiac sign, I also put out monthly, I'm sorry, weekly energy updates for each zodiac sign pick a cards and a few other types of videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be updated immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button, and then also clicking that subscribe button gives you access to the notification bell. When you go in there, there is an option for all. And if you select that, then you'll be notified of any new videos that do come out on this channel. And also when I go live, I know. <laughs> also, when you do those things, it helps spread the Zen love. And it does help my channel grow in significant ways as well. Because when you like or share one of my videos, when you comment on one of my videos, and when you subscribe to my channel, doing those things makes the YouTube algorithm so great, giddy, giddy, crazy happy. It wants to automatically share the videos of my channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of that, please know I am very, very grateful. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings as well. All that information is listed in the description box of this video below, so if you're interested, you can check it out there. All right, Capricorns, as you go through this amazing transformation, please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing month. We'll be talking soon. In the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.